Hey guys, Brian here, and I want to do a review on the Zoraki R1 blank fire pistol. And in this review, I'm going to talk about the gun first and then my thoughts and opinions on blank fire uh, pistols. So I got this uh, blank fire gun, the Zoraki R1 from Max Armory. Dot com. They sell uh, ID badges, blank fire guns, replica guns, and stun guns. Uh, mostly just movie prop stuff. And this right here is the Zoraki R1 4.5 inch barrel version. And they come in three versions. The 2.5, the 4.5, and the 6. And I chose the uh, 4.5 because I didn't want a really long barrel or a really short barrel. So right in the middle, I got this. And as you can see right here, this is um, Zoraki R1. You got the uh, logo right there and then made by Attack Arms. Right here, you have the uh, serial number. This blank gun comes with a hard plastic case. And it has a foam padding on the inside. It comes with a uh, nylon holster. I don't really like this holster because it's uh, really cheap. And it did come with another one of these on the other side. But I just cut that off. Because I felt like just having one was better. Comes with uh, 25 rounds of these blanks. Uh, these are 9 slash 380. See if the camera can read that. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to focus. There we go. Sort of see it. So OZK 9 slash 380R. And it comes with a flare adapter. It also comes with the user manual and some other stuff. But, um, yeah, that's basically it. So let's get into the gun. So this gun holds six shots. And to release this, uh, I call it a cylinder. I don't know what the uh, proper term is for it. But um, you just hold this button down and push it forward. And you just push on this and it pops right out. It holds six shots. As you can see right there. It is double action. And single action. You can also decock the hammer. The sights are made out of metal as well, but they serve no purpose really because blank fire guns, they don't fire any projectile out. So these are mostly for design purposes. As you can see right here, if I were to load in a blank, in order to um, take the blank out, you can either do this or you can push in this button and that'll uh, eject the blank cartridge out. So as you can see, uh, let me take this out. Right here, there is a metal bar blocking the barrel. Since this is the front fire version, uh, the barrel is not completely blocked. But some states require you to have a fully blocked barrel some don't it just depends on your law um, if this was the top fire version instead of the front fire the entire front of the gun would be uh, blocked off the barrel and this piece right there that would be taken out so that the powder and the pressure and f fire you know the flare can come out the top instead of the front but that doesn't look as realistic so that's why I got the front fire version. Let's put this back in. So another thing about this gun is uh, the grips. They're plastic, but they are coated with some kind of thin rubber layer. Uh, I didn't really like it, so I tried to scratch it off. That's why you see all these scratch marks on there. And if you were to... Um, cock the hammer back the cylinder rotates to the right or in this case to the left if you're pointing it at something so 
Keep that in mind if you're loading one blank in for movie purposes the cylinder will always go to the left of whatever you're pointing at so yeah um, this flare adapter has threads and what you do is you just put this in the barrel and just twist it and after that you just load in a flare load in a blank and fire it in the air and that will shoot off a flare I have yet to find uh, flares for these I don't know where to buy them so this is actually kind of pointless for me let's just take that off and uh, yeah back to the uh, cheap leather or not leather my bad cheap nylon holster um, I don't really like it it's um, pretty cheap it'll probably rip after a couple times of using it but um yeah, it's just there. I would just buy a different holster. Maybe I would prefer the uh, hard plastic holsters instead of the uh, nylon holster. So that's basically the review of the Zoraki R1, a 4.5 inch barrel blank fire gun. And now I want to uh, give my thoughts and opinions on blank fire guns. Now I heard some people want to carry blank fire guns and sort of just use them for defense and stuff like that and in my honest opinion I wouldn't recommend it because if you do that and someone else has a firearm like a real gun and you just have a blank gun yeah you're gonna scare them but if they fire back at you you're screwed you know you can't do anything but um if you're lucky I guess I don't really believe in luck but if you were to pull it out and you were to use it to scare the bad guy away I mean I, I really wouldn't recommend it at all uh, I would just carry a real gun and since I'm 18 I can't carry a pistol because I can't buy one or I can't have a carry permit but I am allowed to open carry rifles and shotguns where I live like basically long guns AR-15s I'm allowed to open carry them where I live but carrying a blank gun for defense it's not really a safe thing to do I would say um, if you have pepper spray or a knife, that would be a better choice. But I would only use a blank gun for movie purposes and action scenes and stuff. Uh, me and my friends are actually working on a, a comedy sort of action scene where I steal uh, someone's car and then sell it at a dealership. And um, I'll post a link below in the description but uh, you can see an example of the blank gun being used and that's just my honest opinion about blank guns and if you are using it for movie purposes uh, have common sense and don't aim this at yourself like directly towards your head people have died with blank guns if you look at replica air guns um, the YouTube channel he demonstrates what a blank gun can do to an orange and an apple and they blow holes inside of them you know they take out large chunks because of the pressure that is built up in these guns and it's really dangerous to be messing around and playing with blank guns and they should be treated as real firearms even though they don't shoot out a projectile and if you are using this for movie purposes when you're aiming at something don't aim directly towards them because these pieces of plastic can actually shoot out of the front barrel and it can actually cause damage so what I would do is sort of aim away from the person you know sort of to the left or to the right depending on the camera angle but if you want if you want to shoot this blank gun in sort of a first person mode just um, try to aim away from the person you know don't aim directly at them because these are dangerous another thing they cause loud explosions if you have any people around make sure you tell them 
uh, make sure that it's okay for you to be using these because they sound just like real guns. Almost like real guns. It depends on the type of blanks you use. But uh, say if I go to a shooting range and I shoot a Glock 9mm, right? Glock 19. And then I bring this to the shooting range and I shoot it. It sounds almost like a Glock. But just like cut that by a quarter. And that's the sound it'll make. It's extremely loud. So just be safe when using blank guns. And if you decide to carry it for defense purposes, uh, I wouldn't recommend it at all. Just carry a knife or pepper spray or a taser, depending on your laws. Just choose something else that can actually defend you and not just be sort of like, uh, sort of, you know, uh, scare someone away. And that's what I have to say about blank guns and stuff. So sorry about rambling on and like all this other stuff, but, um... Yeah, I, I really don't know. That's just my opinion. So I hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day. Thank you.